Hey, in KCRH 89.9 FM, KCRH Radio.com. Uh. Midday mix up live in the studio right now and on your airwaves at KCRH 89.9 FM. Make sure y'all follow us online. You can follow me at Big Read Radio, B I G R E I D Radio. What's up with you, bro? Where are they going to follow you at? DJ T A S I. That's DJ Tessie for you, man. You Ellen, feel me? Ellen, tell them where they can follow you, girl. You can follow me at love <laughs> underscore and <laughs> underscore success. Really just, just make mine sound like it's horrible. Ellen's a thug, man. Y'all need to understand that now before yeah. you get yourself caught up. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Bye, bye. For sure, KCRH 89.9 FM, KCRH Radio.com. And you know what? There's always been this one thing that I've always wanted to do. Hmm. And I've never had the big enough, you know, the big enough. Um, the big enough. I don't know, man. I don't know what to call it, man. I don't want to say cojones. That's nice. I just said it. No, man. I'm talking about like the big enough. Uh, you feel me? Big enough. Grapes? There you go. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Forget <laughs> Look, I've always wanted to like quit my job uh-huh. like in an amazing way. Like I've always wanted to walk up to my job b- boss and be like, you know what, sir? You, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm on my way. So- I'm getting the hell out of here. So you quit like a nine-year-old white kid? Shut up. I was going to tantrum. Really, DJ Dustin? Why you had to just bust my joke on my on me? Uh, uh, you know what, man? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Mom. I hate you, Mom. I, I hate you, Mom. You're, the, you're scum in the earth, Mom. You're the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Somewhere there's an I Achoa. wish you never lived. <laughs> there's an Achoa kid. <laughs> Like he's in his is, room right now. This we is love so you. real. I'm cursing sorry. out his mom. <laughs> he, he's just so connected to he's, it. He can feel it. He knows. He's like the little he's kid like, on the yeah. Dr. Phil show, show when he smacked his mom. Like you don't What underst- was up with that? You don't understand me, mom. What I'm, was I'm up like, with that? whoa. What was like up these with that? kids have gotten bold as hell. Yep. Because I, I talked sure to my have. mom. She came at me with a gun. Like, I wouldn't be here, here today. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I have asthma, bro, so it was hard for me to run. <laughs> it was all bad. Aww. So um over the weekend, this chick in Alaska, of all places, in Alaska, decides to quit on the radio. I mean not the radio, on TV, on that the news gone. channel. That was hilarious. So basically I'm gonna let you guys. Should we let him here first? Let's let him here. Okay, we're gonna let you guys. For those who have not, yes. This is what happened. Now, everything you heard is why I, the actual owner of the Alaska Cannabis Club, will be dedicating all my energy toward fighting for freedom and fairness, which begins with legalizing marijuana here in Alaska. And as for this job, well, well, not that I have a choice, but (laughs) it. I quit. (laughs) Yep. All right, we apologize for that. Yeah, I'm sure. Look, she's stuck. Wait, wait, listen, listen, listen. She comes back like, oh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be right back. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, pardon for us. Uh, pardon, uh, pardon for us. Pardon for us. <laughs> pardon. We'll, we'll, she did not we'll be right know back. what to do. I mean, who does? She was bad, too. Hey, she, they, they were both cute. They they're, were both cute. And they were both talking but... about weed. Yeah. Win-win. Clap there it up go. for them. Good job. I Good. felt bad for her having to close up after that, having yeah. to, like, get it together. She was like, oh, yeah, oh, my Yeah, that's like God. the worst thing in the world. What do you do? Like, you got to, like, sit there and really just come up with something. Pull out of your butt. Hey, I would have just came off the top of something funny, like, you know, like, oh, her like, job's ooh. open. Yeah. <laughs> her job's open. <laughs> yeah, I can get me a job other news, now. we Does are now hiring. <laughs> <laughs> how Does much she get paid more? Yeah, how much How much was that? Uh, apparently, she owned the marijuana dispensary so they good. were talking about. So she's fine. She's, she's good. Gonna, she's mm-hmm. going to be okay. But she made a video uh-huh. after this aired. Oh, and damn. And she didn't apologize at all. Oh. Not no. one bit. She did she's, not apologize. She's not mad. The video she made was uh, was speaking up for, it was basically like a PSA she mm-hmm. created. She didn't apologize for saying the word. Nope. All right, for no, sure. because she's you know what? That's like kind of also like in your face to those people that are so censored with like, Modern times, you know, it's like, you know what? Well, F it. Here you go. They gave her the, 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 the station gave her the opportunity to kind of do like a farewell thing. Uh-huh. And, and, you know, like that was on, that was on them. That was their fault. You think that's why the stations out here don't give people farewell opportunities? No. <laughs> that's why Chewy just got cut off. No, man. He, he got the X for real. Because if he would have came back knowing. It's too much of a liability. You don't you know. You know the stuff he would have said? <laughs> it would have been bad. So you guys are in agreement with her, the way she handled it. Mm. I uh, I agree with her how she handled it. If I you give it too. if you give me the opportunity to do that, I already did that. 
I mean, if they were like, Tuss, your last show, you're fired because you own a cannabis club. I was like, oh, oh for right. real? You go. I was like, let me just let me just end this. Let me end my what? career. She chose her career path. She <laughs> want, that's where she's happy and that's what she wants to do. She, go ahead. You know what? She would make a great, like, um, candidate for, you know, uh, a, in Senate or. There you go. You know, or mayor. Stand up to marijuana. Yeah, Stand like, think about it. In about in 10 years, this could be her campaign for presidency. Now, mm-hmm. check this out. So you know many votes she'd get. She'd be the effort girl. Yeah, she'd, she'd be the so many be votes. No, seriously, even under her videos, like, a lot of the comments, I mean, you know, they are They're supportive, but they are, also yeah. say about how good she looks. Yeah. Like, I'd vote for her. Yeah, I'd vote for her. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, so when I heard this, when I seen this on, uh, on YouTube, wherever I seen it, I don't know where I saw that. Everywhere. When, it was yeah, everywhere. It was everywhere, uh, honestly. So when I see even like a little Instagram clips everywhere, Vine, they got Vine mm-hmm. videos over now. When I seen it, I was like, damn, like I remembered about another little thing I heard a while back. This is the guy that was on air in Jacksonville, Florida. He's on some rock station, everything like that. Listen to this. All right, uh, a few minutes ago, um, I was letting in a, on a little bit of information that I'm assuming was supposed to be secret, but um, I was told that I'm going to be let go on Friday after my show, and I have since then, I, I confirmed it, and you know what, I've decided to just say screw it and give the big middle finger to upper management instead of giving them the opportunity. So first, I want to say thank you <laughs> to you for making the last uh, four plus years of my life great here in Jacksonville and on Rock 105. Four I couldn't think of anywhere years. better to work yeah, here in Jacksonville. Gone. I'm glad I got to work here during some great times and uh, during some not so great times, and uh, again, Thank you, upper management, for the not-so-great times. But in the end, I would not trade any of it for the world. And um, I'm grateful we spent the time together. Now, Don Davis and Rob Barr and Jake and the rest of my family here uh, that makes things happen on the air, you guys are the greatest. That's like us. I wish nothing but this the us. best for all of you. Now, on to the problem. Yeah. There is nothing worse nothing. than managers that think that radio people are like commodities to be used up and Don't thrown away like with... They're no longer valuable to the shareholders, which, by the way, I've been working at... Uh, I've, I've been working without a contract... In good faith for the past few months in the hope that something would work out for me and I'd be able to work out something that would benefit both Cox Radio and my family. But obviously, that wasn't a priority. Now, I find out there's another deal in the works with somebody else and they're only (laughs) minutes away from handing me my walking papers. Well, here's your 15-second notice. Kiss my ass, Cox Radio Jacksonville, and especially you, Bill Hendrick, and David Israel. You two empty suits will be lucky if this is the only time this happens to you. And it's going to be a bright day in Jacksonville when your desks are emptied and radio is free of you. Now, this shows you how much they're paying attention by the way because they should have been in here by now and if they were really listening to the radio stations and knew what was going on so thanks for nothing rotten hell cox radio i am gone he just left it drop yeah, the mic this is still listen, listen, this listen, is listen. still from the clip yes he walked out he left it. he was like you know i'm gonna leave you guys right there. off there i'm out of here straight dead there and you go hear someone running there they're like oh my god did he really just do that joe yeah go, Steve. go go yeah get him, get him. here go. we go here we go now <laughs> uh, Shout out to him. Good Did on you know your mate. What? Yeah, good on your mate. Good on your mate. Good on your mate. I mean, but how do you think, in his case, like that's what he does? You know, how do you think it affected him in future, like towards future job opportunities? Oh, that's like, do you gonna think, affect him. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, what I'm saying. So it's like, it comes it, with that. He he has to in, unless he so becomes known as like the Howard Stern of radio and he's just the a hole in the industry, mm-hmm. then that's the only way they'll hire him because they know he's a live wire. Then mm-hmm. people want to hear that. I mean, if he got a super good response and from from like fans and people that were there, like yeah, good on your mates, good on your mates. <laughs> then who knows? Good he damn might no get hired. Good job, Joe Charlie. He might have a job out there waiting because people will be like, who he got people, like? who, you know. I don't know who are we trying to sell. I don't know, bro. I haven't figured it out yet. KCRH 89.9 FM, KCRH Radio.com was brought to you in part today by Ellen Perez. EllenPerez.com. We can find out all your tips on how to stop drinking coffee. Oh, my God. <laughs> don't remind me. Don't say coffee. Sorry. Oh. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want a big glass of coffee? <laughs> hey, really? Tussie, would you like a Frappuccino? Are you done? No, not yet. Are you done? Would you like a uh, coffee candy? Why are you, like, teasing my bad habit right now? Hey, look, man. You're tempting me. If If I drink coffee and I overdose on coffee, I hope you feel bad. No, I hope you don't overdose on coffee. I'm going to overdose on coffee. Please don't. I would appreciate it if you, like, kept that part. All right. I'm going to go hide in my room right now and drink a big old grande. 
Can, we get, to do, mm. can, we, can we get you to do that Shibuya dance? Shibuya! Mm. I don't know if I can do it. Huh? It's just a nay nay, right? Yeah, it's just a nay nay. No, I've tried it. I have no flow. You have no flow? You can't I have no it? flow. I have no rhythm. Like, half the stuff I do end up looking like it ends up looking like I'm doing a Latin dance. So it doesn't really what? work. So you went from doing the, the nay nay to the merengue? Mm hmm. Pretty much. The nay the merengue. With my hand up in the air, like, hey. All right, here we go. Right now. 99%. Let me see you do it! 